Trial and Improvement, Maths Cast 1. This is a trial and improvement question. It will be worth three marks and will always be in the calculator paper. The question is solve x squared plus 3x equals 5 using trial and improvement to one decimal place. The answer is between 1 and 2. You will start this question by making a table. The table has three columns. The middle one is for the question. The end one is for too big, too small and the first one is for x. As the answer is in between 1 and 2, the first number we put in is 1. Please notice how I put the 1 in brackets, just as it's written in the question. This means you can type it in exactly as it looks here and it will give you the correct answer on a calculator. When we put in 1, we got the answer of 4, which was too small, so we put TS at the end of the column. We then put in the second value, they give us 2, in the same way in brackets and type it exactly on a calculator. Here we get the answer of 10 which is too big. These are our first two steps and will get us our first mark. The next value we put into our formula is 1.5. Again in the same way on the calculator using the brackets we get the answer of 6.75. We're trying to get the answer of 5 so this is still too big. Therefore, the next value we will try, going down in decimal places, is 1.4. 1.4 gives us the answer of 6.16, which is still too big. Therefore, we will try 1.3. 1.3 gives us the answer of 5.59. This is getting closer to the answer, but it's still too big. Therefore, we will try 1.2. 1.2 gives us the answer of 5.04. This is very close to the answer, but it's still above 5, therefore it's too big. We must now put in 1.1. 1.1 gives us the answer of 4.51. This is too small. We now have a sandwich. You should show that you have a sandwich by writing it as I've done in this question. This means that your answer is either part of the sandwich, 1.2 or 1.1. I've put arrows by these to show this. To find out which one of these is our answer, we must put in the middle of the sandwich. The middle of 1.1 and 1.2 is 1.15. We put this in just as we have done on the previous ones on a calculator and get the answer of 4.77. This is still too small. Because 1.15 is still too small, our answer must be a little bit bigger than 1.15. Which one of the two with arrows by is bigger than 1.15? The answer is 1.2, which is bigger than 1.15. We have now done it. You might get three or four marks for this in the exam. Now please practice the questions on the next slide and ask your teacher if you need help.